Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at FSR 3.0 Frame Generation Mod by Luke FC. It's currently a paid mod and we're playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Steam Deck Steam OS. I'd like to give a shout out to JD Ross. This is a joint effort by me and him to get the mod up and running for Red Dead Redemption 2 on the Steam Deck. It's pretty hard. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll show you the game without the mod. And then I'll take you to my Steam Deck desktop mode. I'll show you how to install this mod. And then we'll play the game with the mod and see if there's any performance gains. Okay, so you can see I've got two versions of the game. This is the Steam version. All right, and I've got the non-Steam version. Because, yeah, I'll tell you why we can't use the Steam version later. Okay, so if you're on the non-Steam version, make sure you're on GE Proton 743. Here's the one that works. All right, let's boot into the game without the mod. Okay, so let me tell you why the Steam version doesn't work. Because in order for the mod to work, you need the game to be running on DirectX 12 instead of Vulkan. And for the Steam version, if you change from Vulkan to DirectX 12, the game just doesn't boot. I haven't found a way to make the Steam version work on the Steam Deck with DirectX 12. So that's why I'm using the non-Steam version. And you can take a look at the bottom right right now. The build is 1436.28. Okay. So let's go into the game first. Let's put it into the game. And I'll show you my settings. So my settings for my Steam Deck. It's currently on um, performance tab. You can see I just disabled frame limit. And everything else is left off. And for power tools... I've got SMT enabled, 8 threads, and governor set to performance, and everything else is disabled. Okay, and for my Steam OS, it's currently on the latest stable version, 3.5.7. And I've got cryo utilities on, recommended settings with 4 gigabytes of VRAM. Okay, that's my Steam Deck settings. And for my game settings, let's go into the in game settings. Okay, graphics. Okay, so resolution. Okay, let me move my camera a bit. Okay, so resolution 1280 by 720. Windowed borderless, V-Sync off, triple buffering. Okay, these are standard. And you can see the quality preset is just bumped all the way up to the ultra. You can still go further, like you can set it to 16, but yeah, let's just let's use the graphic preset the quality preset and you can see we don't have DOSS uh, we don't have the option for the default because we're on the Steam Deck we don't have an NVIDIA graphic card but once we got the mod installed we have an option to enable DOSS which isn't really DOSS it's actually FSR 3.0 mod okay and then make sure here graphics API it's set to DirectX 12 so you have to turn you have to unlock the advanced settings and change it from Vulkan to DirectX 12. Okay, so these are my settings. All right, and I'm currently at St. Denis, one of the hardest cities to like run. And you can see my FPS counter at the top left corner. Okay, I'll show you my map. Okay, yeah, I'm in St. Denis. And yeah, it's running pretty good, like 30-ish frames. It sometimes drops into the 20-ish, but still, you have to remember we like our graphic preset is set pretty high, like at the highest actually. You can go a little bit further up uh, on the minor details, but uh, yeah. So here's Saint Denis. Okay, trespassing. Oh my god, I just got. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, we're running around in Saint Denis and we're getting 30 ish, which I think is pretty decent, really. So this is with the mod off. All right, so here you can see we go to the 20 ish, high 20s. I've actually seen it drop into the teens. Uh, not that it's pretty rare, but I have seen it. Yeah, actually, this game runs pretty good. Oh, that was the low 20s. Okay, this game runs pretty good, actually, in my opinion, on the Steam Deck. 
All right, so I think you know what we're getting into. So let's go into my desktop mode and I'll show you how to get this game running with the FSR3 mod. So I'll see you in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. Alright, we're going to kill it. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. So the first thing you need to do is you need to locate your game folder. So I've got mine right here. Home Games, Red Dead Redemption 2. This is where the RDR2 EXE is. All right, right here. So this is the folder where we're going to put our mod files, okay? So here's my mods, Luke FC mods, and I'm going to use the latest version of the mod as of recording. It's 0.9.0, .0. okay? And you've got a special like mod for Red Dead Redemption 2, okay? So these two are the mods by Luke FC. This is not, but we need to install this first. So make sure... You drag all this. I'll like put this file in the link in the description so you can download this file. Okay. So you just gotta drag all these over to the game folder. Okay. And you see this enable signature override. Put it somewhere like you can locate because we need to locate this. All right. And then. What you need to do is you need to run the game at least once so you can go into its proton so i'm going to open up proton tricks and i'm going to locate my non-steam game which is right here non-steam shortcut red dead redemption this is the steam version so make sure you're using the non-steam one okay we're going to go into its um proton okay it's got some warnings about there's an update just skip those Okay, it's doing its thing. Don't panic. Okay. Select the default wine prefix. Okay. And then go here. Run reg edit. Okay. Go to registry. Import registry file. Okay. And I put it. Mine is actually here. It's in um, deck. I uh, know it's in home deck. Oh yeah, I can't locate my. That's why you need to put it somewhere, somewhere you can locate. I think downloads is the best folder. Okay, so see that file. Um, this one. So make sure you enable signature override dot reg. Put it somewhere you can locate. So I'm gonna put it in my downloads. I already have it. Just gonna overwrite. Okay, because right here. Like you can't really access all the folders, so I can access the downloads folder. So that's why I put it here. Then I'm just gonna select it, enable signature override dot reg. Okay, and then you, it says here the keys and values contained were successfully added to the registry. Just click OK, and we're done. Just quit out of it, and quit out of Proton Tricks as well. Okay, so once you've got that done, we're gonna move Luke FC mods over as well. So the common.zip. Okay, I'm just gonna drag the files. I'm gonna drag all the files except for the optional ones. Okay. Okay, just move them over. And then also the rdr2.zip. Okay, also need to drag this over, extract it over to do your game folder where the rdr2exe is. All right, so that's done. Now we've moved all our mod files to the game. Now, you need to go to your Steam and add the 
at the launch option. So this is, if you remember, this is my non-Steam game. Double check it. Yeah. Yep. Games, Red Dead Redemption 2, RDR. Yeah, this is the non-Steam one. GE Proton 743. Make sure you're on this Proton. It doesn't work on other Protons. And then I'm going to type Wine DLL Overrides. I'll leave this in the description so you don't have to like type it. You can just copy it. And then I'm going to load WinMM equals native native Okay, my keyboard's going a little bit weird. Okay, native, comma, built in, close quotation marks, and then percentage, command, percentage. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now let's just test it before we go into gaming mode. Just want to make sure that everything works. We should see a mod window, and this is a little bit different from other ones. The mod window just disappears. It doesn't stay here. All right, that's a little bit different from other games. I'm not sure why that is, but uh, yeah. So now I've got the game booted. Let's see if we can like select DLSS. I think that's an indicator whether or not like the mod is working. And if it does work, I'm just going to go into gaming mode and show you like any performance gains. Okay, let's go into settings. Graphics. Okay, so I think everything else is the same. It's on Ultra. You should see DLSS here. Okay, right here. You see NVIDIA DLSS. It's off right now. Okay, so I think the mod is working. How you get the mod working? Just gonna press Alternate F4. Quit the game. Okay, quit the game, and let's go back to gaming mode. That's what we want. Okay. Go back to gaming mode. So I'll see you in gaming mode and we'll show you the, any performance gains. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck's gaming mode. Okay, let's just boot the game up. So we've already done all the modding. So we can just boot the game. All right, there's the mod window. You can see it's disappeared. It just loaded up and it just disappeared. That's just the way it is. Okay. Go into the game and we have to turn on DLSS, which is not really DLSS. So some people will like leave comments in the in the comments section saying that you know it's not really DLSS. Yes, I know that. Okay, so settings, graphics. Okay, so we're not going to change any of the settings except for this nvidia dlss so i'm just going to put it on quality yeah i think quality would be good for now yeah and i'm just going to leave all the other settings alone so we can compare if we get any performance gains you know make sure that the make sure that the mod is actually working okay So make sure you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, just wait for the game to boot up. Okay, you can see we got some, like, see the UI, the map, but like it's flickering and if we turn the camera we've got some ghosting on the character but we do have performance gain you can see the top left the fps counter we're getting 40 ish 50. remember we, before we were on like 30 ish yeah we do have gains but uh yeah i think work needs to be done for this mod to get rid of that ui flickering and the ghosting So yeah, you can see Saint Denis with ultra settings. We're running at like 40-ish, 50. 
But yeah, still, yeah, got that flickering and the ghosting. That kind of bothers me. Hope it gets fixed. This is like really early. This is the first version of the mod that supports Red Dead Redemption 2. Before, like other versions of the mod, before 0 0.9.0, they don't work. This is the first version, so it's really early on. So I'm sure improvements will be made. And I'm sure Luke FC is working on it because I was one of the testers. I've actually tested some of these mods for him. For Red Dead Redemption 2. So I know he's like, he wants to fix it. So yeah, that's good. So yeah, so the mod is definitely working. It's just that we need to fix that ghosting and UI flickering stuff. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, you know what's going on. I'll leave it here. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.